In my previous video, I talked about playlist promotion, how to get into Spotify playlist, whether it's through Submit Hub or just reaching out to uh, independent curators. But one of the most common ways these days to uh, promote music seems to be doing social ads. Social ads meaning that you do Facebook ads, Instagram ads, it could be YouTube, it could be TikTok, anything pretty much. And You've probably seen this in a lot of places like you you look on your facebook feed or on your instagram feed and you see like a, a short video maybe giving you like 15 seconds 30 seconds out of a song and then it says you know listen now and you click on it and that sends you to spotify now uh the trick i wanted to share with you today is something that i recently learned and that is um called a uh, tracking pixel what is a tracking pixel so the way it works is usually when you have a social ad you will have an ad that's running on facebook instagram whatever you click on that and then usually you have a landing page you know usually you see the um you see a photo of the artist or the artwork of that music and then you have the option of choosing where do you want to listen maybe it's spotify maybe it's apple music whatever and from there you could go to Spotify and have a listen. And the reason that these pages exist, and right now I'm on Hypedit. On Hypedit, you can create these landing pages. They're called smart links. So I could create a landing page for an ad. I could create a Facebook ad, for example, right here. I have a Facebook ad and a Facebook campaign, and I would direct my ad to this link. And this link would actually show the artist photo. It will show you Spotify link and I'm going to connect my Facebook ad and direct it to this link and a lot of people think well why why do you need this why do you need this extra step why can't you just have your ad point directly into Spotify and the reason is because the ad on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever it is AI it learns how to bring the right people to your profile it tries different things and it learns what was a good attempt and what was a bad attempt and it can learn much better on how to improve and how to expose you into the right kind of people if you have a dedicated landing page that is connected to the ad via a tracking pixel so if you create a smart link which is your landing page for your song you will have this option here to add a tracking pixel so you can go to facebook and if you have a facebook ad for example when you create a new Facebook ad, you have this option here in tracking and you will copy your pixel ID and you will paste that here. The moment that happens, something really, really cool starts to happen. There starts to be like a feedback loop between uh, the Facebook AI algorithm and this page. So Facebook notices that, I don't know, 50 people clicked on the ad. And then this page that I create on Hypedit will actually report to the ad, well, out of those 50 people you sent me, only five actually clicked on play on Spotify and went to Spotify. So you sent me 50 people, five of them were good. So those 45 other people that you sent me, please do not expose me, do not show my ad to those kind of people. And those five that actually clicked, please bring me more of those. And as the ad goes on longer and this page communicates with the ad via the tracking pixel, the uh, algorithm of Spotify becomes uh, a bit more educated, it learns more about what is your ideal audience and it brings in more people that are most likely to actually um, click on go to Spotify from this landing page. Another thing that this is useful for is, as you know, I've talked about bots before, you know, like bots that go into things, click on things like fake, pretty much fake clicks, anything like that. So that exists also on Facebook, which means when you create an ad, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. And as you can see, you have um, tracking pixels for Google, for TikTok. So you could have fake clicks on the ad that will make the ad look really good. You know, you're like, look, I'm getting 100 clicks on the ad. People are clicking. But this actually filters out because if it's a bot, it will actually not play, click another time. Like it actually filters out uh, fake bots from real people. So it actually shows you, well, out of the 100 clicks, maybe some of those were bots. In the end, 10 people clicked on your ad and those are real people and these are the people that we are targeting. So it's pretty
pretty basic, but it's very, very useful if you're planning to uh, run social ads that point back to your Spotify, and this will help you get more plays and more followers. So I hope you find this useful, and thank you for watching.